are you doing? It has been, I think, about a month since I have filmed a video, and I do have a double unboxing for you today. I've got a little Chanel bag, and a little, actually, this is a micro Prada bag, um, but what have I been doing? I have been to Rose, about a month ago, I went to Rose with Cleo and Mum and Dad, and we had a really nice holiday. It was warm out there, but it was also really, really windy, and what I was actually shocked about is that when you stood on the beach in Rose, we stayed in the new town, you can literally look over, and the next island, well, it was an island, it's Turkey. Um, and there was, there was the opportunity to catch like an hour boat ride to Marmaris. And I don't know if any of you know, but in Marmaris, like they have amazing like fake bag markets and fake stuff there. And I would just love to go and look and just see what bargains there are to be had. Um, but my stomach wouldn't let me. I did have a, a little bit of sickness out there and I was feeling quite rough. So I was like, I don't think I could hack the boat ride. So yeah, if any of you are going to Rhodes and you're looking for a bargain, then definitely think about taking the boat trip out there. Um, I think it's just a day thing. So you go for a couple, like five hours and then you come back. But yeah, I really wanted to go. But we also got some really good news. So um, in January, um, we applied for Cleo's school. You applied for eight schools, I think, in order of preference, and she got into the one that we really wanted her to get into. So I am so excited about that. It was a really kind of nerve-wracking time because you have no control over like what school you, you get allocated to. And the school that we went we've applied to is a faith school, so we had to, it's a different it's kind of like a different selection process. Um, but I'm so so happy and she'll be going to school with one of her like best NCT buddies Jacob and um, her, His mummy and I are really thrilled because we're really really good friends. So yeah, it's gonna be a really exciting year I think we're gonna do the Chanel bag first and this seller is actually one of my budget sellers So they're cheaper than the other ones that I use um, But they have really improved their packaging. So the boxes are more like retail and also you, it now comes with really nice ribbon and also the camellia so, so you've got the chanel box and then inside there's no tissue paper this time it comes in a really nice thick cotton dust bag with the branding on the front and inside can you guess what i've got i have got a mini square chanel bag so I'm a massive fan of the rectangle and I thought, you know what, I really need to get like a square in. I actually ordered one of these um, squares, I think about four years ago, I think before Cleo was born and I had it in the caviar and I was just like, the caviar was not doing it for me. So I moved that bag on and I'm really happy that I've um, added this lambskin one to my collection. I'm a big fan of the lambskin. Um, I have a bag exactly like this in the rectangle. I think I unboxed it in December. Um, this one is from a different seller. Um, it's more budget, it's more budget friendly, pocket friendly. Um, but look at it, it is beautiful. The quilting on there, it's very, very bouncy. Um, and I think because it's black, it does kind of, the light bounces off it, but you can just see how beautiful it is. So the front and the back of the bag, the um, quilting is raised and it's quite puffy. But at the bottom, can you see there, the quilting is flat and you have the same on the sides. So I have got this in silver hardware and let me just pull the chain through because I love this sound. Oh, I just, I live for that sound. If you like into ASMR and that kind of, yeah, I just really like it. So that is the chain there. There's a nice shine to the um, chain links. I'm gonna open the bag up and have a look inside. Look at that inside flap. Wow, really, really nice. And then inside you do have the iconic burgundy um, leather lining. And then what do we have in here? We do have a zip and then also a flat pocket. How is the zip? Yeah, it's really nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, I actually think that's probably the same size because the bag is taller um, than the mini rectangle. So yeah, it's actually really roomy for a mini bag. You can definitely get your phone in there, like a card holder, your keys, lipstick, maybe some tissues as well. I'm just gonna have a sniff of this bag because two, year, two years ago, two weeks ago, when I opened the package just to check that the contents was all okay, um, it did have a kind of smell to it. Now it wasn't like, you know, we say foo-foo like fumes smell. It wasn't that, it was more like when you go to a cobbler's to get your shoes fixed, it had that kind of rubbery smell. So I contacted the seller and I was like, I'm a bit worried because it smells and they said that the glue probably hasn't set so it's best to just air it outside like where there's like airflow in the garden so I've hung it on a hanger um, I think for like most of the day it has to be a day when it's not raining because if you get rain on this leather it may like mark um, and I've got to say it's much much improved 
it's much, much better, much, much better. So yeah, it just needs airing out. If you do have like a quite strong smell, try airing it out where there is fresh air flowing, like, like in your garden. Where the leather and the chain strap here, can you just see this little bit, little loose end of the leather? It's just kind of sticking out. So, I mean, um, you don't really get that on the kind of top quality bags. So on this side, I'm definitely gonna have to get a bit of glue and stick it down. Let's see how the square mini looks. Yeah, it definitely sits higher up on the body than the rectangle. The re mini rectangles definitely sit lower. So I think actually on my kind of five foot three frame, it does look better. Um, it's really comfortable to wear as well. And easy to get in and out of. It does feel like a deeper bag, like there's just more depth to it because obviously it is taller. Um, but yeah, that actually is really comfortable to wear. I am now gonna open up this Prada um, box and inside, look, literally look how small the bag is. Um, it comes with a little care booklet and it's got some spare um, sequins because inside here, I have got a very, very Diddy Prada sequin bag. Look at that. Look how sparkly it is. So I'm kind of getting into sequins and stuff because of my Prada Clio bag. And I'm just loving, loving this. It's so, so cute. I don't know how practical it is, but it's a really good kind of party bag. And um, yeah, I've got my ring light on, so it's really kind of showing you how sparkly that is. But yeah, I just thought that was quite cute and dinky. I think realistically, you're only gonna be able to put like cards in here. You're definitely not gonna be able to put a phone in here. I've got an 11 Pro. Yeah, the phone is bigger than the thing. So this is definitely for like cards and maybe some cash. So inside, wow, look at that. Gold, 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 gold. Um, it's just basically like a card holder, it's not even a bag. Um, you do have a flat pocket there, and then it comes with this really like blingy, whoops, super blingy strap, which I'm going to attach. So the strap on this is also super blingy. It's a very yellowy gold, almost like a 24 karat gold, but check out this plate here. So this is genius, so look how kind of bulky and chunky it is. If you press this part in, you can actually adjust the length of the strap. Look, how good is that? So you can either wear the strap, oh, <laughs> doing this very well. You can either wear it very short or like very long. So it's nice that it's adjustable. I'm not, not doing it justice now. Um, let's see what it looks like. Just look at that. Look at that. Um, that's what it looks like just on the side here. It's quite a nice actual length, it's on my hip. Or if I put it cross body, actually it's really short. Look at that, it's proper like, yeah, that's that's a short cross body. So if you are going out, I think I'd wear this with maybe like um, a black dress or maybe a white or kind of like a gold. Um, yeah, it is short, but it's, it's short and it's small. <laughs> So yeah, a little bit of a mixed bag unboxing. I couldn't, I could not resist that pun. Um, but these bags are like absolutely fine in terms of like, like how I'm gonna use them. Um, I'm not precious about bags. I don't think these kinds of bags are ever perfect. Um, and actually sometimes not even the retail ones are. Um, but I will definitely be using them, loving them, enjoying them and wearing them out. If you wanna know where I get any of my bags from, then please do give me a follow and a DM on Instagram. My handle is Sammy Instagram. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.